I'm Measuring Ryan. Measurement isn't just for math, it's for cooking and baking. When we learn to measure, we learn to bake cookies, cupcakes, and more. A recipe is a list of ingredients and instructions to make food. Since a recipe explains how much of each ingredient to use, the cook must measure using measuring cups and spoons. Tablespoons and teaspoons are used to measure small amounts of ingredients like salt, herbs, spices, baking powder, and butter. They look like this. Dry measuring cups are used to measure larger amounts of dry ingredients like flour and sugar. They look like this. Liquid measuring cups are usually used to measure larger amounts of wet ingredients like milk and oil. They look like this. Serving cups vary in size, but they usually include these standard amounts, one cup, three quarter cup, one half cup, and one quarter cup. It may also include one third cup and two thirds cup. Serving spoons vary in size, but they usually include these standard amounts, one tablespoon, one teaspoon, one half teaspoon, one quarter teaspoon, and one eighth teaspoon. One quarter cup means one quarter of a cup, so there are four in one cup. One half cup means one half of a cup, so there are two in one cup. One third cup means one third of a cup, so there are three in one cup. Let's practice. What ingredients would you measure using a tablespoon or teaspoon? A dry measuring cup? A liquid measuring cup? Tablespoon or teaspoon measures spices, herbs, seasoning, baking soda, baking powder, butter, oil, and salt. Dry measuring cups measure flour, sugar, cocoa powder, chocolate chips, walnuts, fruit, diced vegetables, beans, etc. Liquid measuring cup measures milk, water, oil, melted butter, melted baker's chocolate, tomato sauce, broth, honey, etc. What measuring utensil would you use to measure three quarter cup sugar? Two third cup milk, two tablespoons honey, one quarter teaspoon salt. You would measure three quarter cup sugar with a dry measuring cup, two third cup milk with a liquid measuring cup, two tablespoons honey with one tablespoon, and one quarter teaspoon salt with a quarter teaspoon. Sometimes when baking, you might want to make double or half the recipe for more or fewer people. This is a good time to use simple math to divide or multiply the recipe by two. Let's practice. Double the following recipe. Two cups flour, one quarter cup sugar, one third cup milk, two third tablespoon honey, three quarter teaspoon salt. To double the following recipe, two cups flour becomes four cups flour, one quarter cup sugar becomes a half cup sugar. One third cup milk becomes two thirds cup milk. Two third tablespoon honey becomes one and one third tablespoon honey. And three quarter teaspoon salt becomes one and one quarter teaspoon salt. Triple the following recipe. Two cups flour, one quarter cup sugar, one third cup milk, a half tablespoon honey, one teaspoon salt. To triple the following recipe, two cups flour becomes six cups flour, one quarter cup sugar becomes three quarters cup sugar, one third cup milk becomes one cup milk, one half tablespoon honey becomes one and one half tablespoon honey, and one teaspoon salt becomes three teaspoons salt. Cut the following recipe in half, two cups flour, two thirds cup sugar, one half cup milk, one tablespoon honey, one quarter teaspoon salt. To cut the following recipe in half, two cups flour becomes one cup flour, two thirds cup sugar becomes one third cup sugar, one half cup milk becomes one quarter cup milk, one tablespoon honey becomes one half tablespoon honey, and one quarter teaspoon salt becomes one eighth teaspoon salt. You're ready to bake. What will you create? Want to give the gift of reading to One Child in Poverty? Donate $3 to change one life. Visit wordrebel.org.